We're going to get a little bit moist. We're going to get a little bit critical. And we're also going to get a little bit sneaky as we talk a little bit more about some internet dramas. That's right. We're going to talk a little bit about internet dramas because there's some huge videos blowing up out there. And I feel like our audience here at Our Reviews Will Kill You is only mildly, they're not terminally online. And when we provide you with news here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, it's really just to get you up to speed so that you can talk around the water cooler and not sound foolish. So I am the man you may know as he from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And we're going to talk a little bit about the early retirement of Moist Critical, Penguin Zero Critical, whatever this guy's name, Charlie. I have watched some of his videos sometimes. I never watched a Twitch stream in my entire life. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring up some stuff so I can catch everybody up to, to up to speed because it seems like everyone online was announcing that this dude was retiring. Dude's got 60 million subscribers, so... Big time player on YouTube. You may know him from such things as being online Jesus. So I will play that. This is what you may know him from because you don't know anything else about what he does, but he does do this. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! <laughs> That's that's what you may know him from. He is a the living meme that does woo. <laughs> so you may know him from that. Well, there was a great debate, and when I say great, I would say no one on earth needs to watch it. And when I say debate, it sounds like a discussion between two uninformed individuals. One of them was Charlie. The other one was Sneeko, and uh, I don't, I know even less about Sneeko, but Sneeko is the guy that you may know about dancing with guns. And I'll play that clip for a second. I just want to acknowledge that this is, uh, there's another YouTuber, Jamari, here. He does a great job, and he is, uh, he did a great kind of catch up as to what was going on. But again, he overreacted because he didn't sit back and wait to see what was actually going on. You're going to watch all these videos blown up and they're going to recommend you like, oh, Mr. Beast is the worst person ever. Or they're going to recommend like, oh my God, Penguin Zero, is he's retiring, Moist Critical is leaving the internet forevers. Well, unfortunately, that's none of that. So, Charlie got into a debate with the Sneeko guy and, uh, and now everyone's announcing that he's going to retire from the internet. We have from Charlie directly, we'll hear what he has to say, but let's hear... You may know the Sneeko guy. You probably don't, but you may know him best from this. He dancing around, brandishing a pistol in his hands, threatening Charlie, saying that he could get these clips. You want to watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. This, of course, would give us the most glorious moment in the beef, the Mag's comments. But he's a f***ing imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are Mag's. <laughs> They're Mag's, not... Internet... <laughs> Like internet trolls showing each other each other's gun collections. Have we no decency, friends? <laughs> Who does this? Clips the same way that this is also a mag. And then we would later get this debate over. <laughs> so, so they decide to have some sort of great debate. And I will get into what Charlie actually has to say about this. But they get into some great debate over. I don't even know why. The, the age of consent. <laughs> Why? Let's just listen. Analyze that for one second, friends. Is there a debate over the age of consent? I have heard that nowhere amongst people who have regular jobs. I have never heard a single person debate whether or not the age of consent is something we should consider. So what these two guys have to say about it, I, I don't care because I've never thought of that debate. I just assumed the law took care of everything. We're just along for the ride. If you can die for the country, if you can, you can smoke for the country, if you can drink, well, you can't drink, you should be able to drink for the country, and if you can vote for the country, you should be able to do whatever you want, right? We've, we've all come to an agreement here in the good old United States of America that 18 is great teen. So 
why there's any other debate around this, I don't know. But Charlie had some other comments that got him into trouble, and we're going to take a look at some of those. So this is why he's retiring from the internet, and I'm going to have... This is directly from him, and he's not retiring from the internet. So for everybody who jumped on the gun, who was like, ha, 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 Mr. Beast is going down, Charlie, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero is going down, not so much. Not so much. Oh, uh, let's see here. I have some, some video I have to refer to. I, I wrote it down, and I can barely see what I wrote. Hold on, before we get to that part, let's skip to uh, this section right here. I think this addresses the actual debate. With oh, come on, you're gonna give me a commercial. How dare you? Anyway, uh, let's get it right back. And here is where Charlie actually falls right into Sneeko's trap. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> you agree with. Okay. Just look at the glee on Sneeko's. So these two clowns fell into logical traps with each other because when you have a logical question, you can't have a yes, no answer. So like yes to the age of consent being lowered no to transitioning or yes to transitioning and no to the age of consent they both have opposing views and the only logical way to solve this problem is to have yes i agree for total freedom so yes any age it doesn't matter yes to the age of consent can be anything and yes to the uh transitioning at any age or you say no to both, where you say no to transitioning and no to the age of consent. Both of them sit on opposite sides of the fence, but ultimately they both don't hold logical opinions. So, that, and I guess the big thing is people didn't care what Sneeko had to say. They cared what Charlie had to say. So, Charlie's commentary became a big issue. And then we'll get to the last piece where everyone jumped the gun. That would be this portion. Thank you again to Jamari to uh, set all this stuff up for me. There was an update where Charlie has effective immediately decided to leave his official podcast and Red Thread. This news gets a little bit spicier after it was announced earlier today that Charlie is apparently going to be stepping away from his podcast. Show update. Goodbye, Charlie. Hey everyone, effective immediately, Charlie has made the decision to leave both the official podcast and Red Thread. He wants to go on an indefinite hiatus to scale back his time spent on the internet. We obviously wish him the best for everyone to respect his... Yeah, so he's leaving all of his shows. Oh my god, he's quitting the internet forever! Well, Charlie came on tonight, or whenever I record this, to speak his own mind as to what was actually going on. And uh, while it's not particularly funny, I think he has a point. Commentary video. I, I was bubbly, full of jubilation. I posted it today only to learn that I'm just a big old fucking liar. Liar, liar, plants for hire, I suppose. I Apparently, and I didn't know this until I posted the video, everyone was under the impression that I was quitting the internet. So I started scratching at the hair on my chinny chin chin wondering, when the fuck did that happen? Was I sleepwalking? Do I have somnambulism? Is this some kind of like you know, fight club situation, but instead of, like, Tyler Durden, I have fucking Charles Turden here that's just making wrong announcements. It turns out the patient zero behind all of this was a post Jackson made announcing. So one of his partners made the post, and everyone, he is not retiring from the internet, according to him. Now, he is retiring from the beef. He doesn't want to cover any more drama, and he doesn't want to get sucked in. And he does have his own commentary about the debate. He is claiming that he never agreed to allowing Sneeko to record it. And he goes, I didn't even know we were talking about that we were like doing anything until there was like an hour and 40 minutes into the conversation. Dude, you're a YouTube personality. He's a YouTube personality or streaming personality. You don't have just conversations just to talk. Everything you're doing is being recorded and broadcast. You clearly knew that. You knew what conversation you were going into. You did not have a normal... If you had a normal conversation with him, you would not be sitting in your podcast studio 
to have a conversation with this guy. So come on, man. Let's be real. Titties photoshopped onto Thomas Edison that said you were done and it had 50,000 likes, so I know it was true. And you're just a fucking liar. I can't even just peacefully walk away from some projects without it being a massive fucking reaction over actual nothing burger information. So he's saying like, oh, I was going to walk away from those podcasts anyway because I've been doing them for eight years and I don't want to do them anymore. Okay, sounds like somebody's getting a little sensitive here. Oh, more commercials. See what happens when you cannot afford to pay for all the things to skip all this stuff. So just as a reminder, you can join the channel and help us support Do What We're Doing Here as we catch you up on silly internet drama and give it a review at the end. I'll defender or advocating for that kind of thing. So I thought that is why he asked. I didn't know it was because it was being streamed, especially because one of his last DMs was about how he's doing an outside IRL stream and he would call me after. To me, that says when he's done streaming, that's when we'll talk, not as a part of his stream. I didn't know this was a debate nor a stream until about an hour and 40 into it. Dude, I've never talked to anybody for an hour and 40 minutes on the phone or in a podcast studio. Don't get, come on, man. Come on, man. What are you talking about? You sound crazy. All right, and then the last point we'll make right here, uh, right around here. I feel like switching genders and they lay you down on the operating table and just snip your whole fucking meat off. I didn't know that that's what he actually believed. I, I didn't know he was speaking literally. I thought he was just referring to the entire process of transitioning and just using this over-the-top statement to encapsulate all of it. Because you literally cannot get that surgery unless you... All right, I can't think of, and I don't care what side of the fence you're on, but these two goofballs arguing about something that they don't know anything about just is nonsensical. And not, they also brought absolute logical fallacies to their argument. So now you know what's going on right from the horse's mouth. Charlie's not retiring anytime soon. You're not going to see uh, Internet Jesus. He's not going anywhere. Internet Jesus is still around. He's staying around and uh, dances with guns. Uh, he, I'm sure he's not leaving either. So what do you guys think? Was this nonsense? Is this crazy? I will tell you, as far as apology videos go, Charlie did a... Uh, he didn't apologize at all and talked for 24 minutes and 52 seconds and quadrupled down. 10 out of 10, baby. That's a t that's almost an 11 out of 10. Good job, Moist Critical. You squashed the beef. And you didn't even know you were in a beef, according to you. So you're the winner. Winner chicken dinner. Sneeko, 10 out of... That dancing with guns? 10 out of 10 for dancing with guns. Absolutely. So uh, let it, let me know what's your rating. What what do you give them? Nine out of ten, ten out of ten, seven out of ten. What do you, what do you give them? Anyway, catch our full length audio podcast on iTunes. Uh, usually, you could also catch our live streams here on YouTube, seven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. And you can go to Rumble, catch us there. Join the channel, join the chat, have some fun, mix it up. We will educate you on things that you didn't know you needed to know. But what you do need to know is whether, like, you don't want to show up to the water cooler not knowing that Moist Critical did not actually retire. In fact, you could drop this hot knowledge where it's like, hey, I heard it from the horse's mouth. He's not actually retiring. And then people will be like, who's Moist Critical? <laughs> like, that's exactly my point. So anyway, thank you for listening. I appreciate you guys. Love all y'all, but I'm on to the next one.